and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. They will be starting the girls hurdles, I believe, um, momentarily. Um, can't quite tell if they're doing boys or girls hurdles right now, but looks like the girls hurdles will be up first. And I believe they just finished up Javelin. So. Try to focus in on some of the frontier runners. They'll get things started Right away, it looks like four runners will be running. Maybe two for Pioneer, two for Frontier. All right, looks like it's gonna be boys hurdles first. The 100 meter actually, so. Again, Tom Albert. Can't quite tell who it is for Frontier, but it's like Lorenzo. And he's going to take first place. So one, two. And good sportsmanship there. And they'll set up the girls' 100 meter hurdles. So good job. Frontier takes first which that'll give them five points. And then Pioneer will take second, which will give them third, or uh, three points, excuse me, and third, uh, there was no third place. So, Frontier wins that one, gets five points uh, towards the meet. Third place does get one, one point. Looks like they're gonna be starting the girls 100 meter hurdles, and we will be having, um, it looks like, can't quite tell, but it might be two Frontier Runners and two Pioneer Runners. It is over 100 meters away, so a little tricky. Uh, maybe it's three Frontier Runners. We'll see. Looks like two and two, though. Looks like they're going to get in the set position, and then we'll hear the gun momentarily. And they take off. So yeah, it is two and two. Looks like Frontier's in the red lead. Frontier could take first and second here, which would be good for the girls. Looks like they may take first, second, and... So Frontier takes first and third there. And they'll get six points from that. Pioneer got three with a second place finish. Um, so good job for the girls there. And we will go to the 100, or second round of the hurdles here. All right, looks like it may have been Hannah Davis there that took first, so, and can't quite tell who took third, but she may have PR'd, so. Try to get their celebration there. <laughs> And we'll go to the second round of hurdles for the girls. Looks like it's going to be three Frontier Runners and one Pioneer in the lane number four. Will be the one Pioneer Runner. They're in the set position. And they're off. See you in the second heat. Fans making some noise. Looks like we'll come down to the last turtle. Frontier will take first. Pioneer will take second. And Frontier will take third and fourth. The, uh, looks like a third heat of girls. And they're off. This is the third heat. 
And it will be lanes fourth and fifth. So Frontier will in this third heat. Take first and second in the third heat. So there we go. And the hurdles will come off of the track. So we will go to the boys 100 meter dash and then the girls here at the Frontier Track in Field Meets where it is the boys 100 meter dash. And they're off. Looks like Jack Storm is in the lead for the Red Ox. And Evan Galley may be in third place. So Jack Storm will take first. Evan Galley will take second. And I'm not sure, too sure who got third. In the second heat of the boys' 100 meter dash. And they're coming at me, so. So like Frontier will take first, second, and fourth. Pioneer takes third there. And fifth and sixth. So we'll go to the third heat. And then the girls will race. And they're off. So four Frontier runners. I know Taylor's in lane number three. And looks like Taylor will, Kimmy Taylor will take first place. And uh, there we go. So we will go to the girls 100 meter after they get their times. They're set and they're off. Can't quite tell. Maybe Frontier. It's like Frontier will take first, second, and Pioneer will take third, I believe. So good job by the Renhawks there. Taking first and second. Here they go. It's like Julian Warden is in lane number five. I don't know. And there we go. Frontier takes one, two, three. And they're off. Frontier will take one, two, three here. In this third and final heat of the 100 meter dash. Great job by the runners there. And they finish up strong. All right, here we go. They're off for the one mile. They're going to start the boys. Looks like it'll be Luke Howard and Evan. And then we're going to go start the girls' mile right now, which I think Leah Gump is the first And here we go, the girls will start as well. And Leah Gump will be in the lead. Rounding the first corner. And then the boys will, they're coming around the 150 meter mark. like it's Luke Howard in front of Evan. And followed by Pioneer, so three good runners it looks like. Howard will take the lead in the first lap. Looks like Howard and Evan do a good job they are very trailed by that Pioneer runner, though. He's right on their tails. And looks like another Pioneer runner for the boys will be there. 
And looks like Leah Gump will be out in front, followed by uh, two frontier runners. So Leah will take a big lead in the, the uh, into going to the second lap, followed by Sasha and Kathleen. And another Pioneer runner going by now. And followed by one more Pioneer runner. And we'll go down to around the 150 meter mark where Luke Howard and Evan very closely trailed by a Pioneer runner. So this will be a close mile finish as they are going to finish up their second lap momentarily. Yeah, this is going to be a close mile for the boys. Uh, yeah, Howard and Evan trailed right behind is one of, is the Pioneer runner. So they're, they go into the third lap there. And they will round the, they'll be right around the first 100 meter there. And we'll go down to Leah Gump, finishing up her second lap. 349, it looks like she's at. So Gump taking a margin of the lead. And she's got almost nobody on her tail. There goes another Pioneer runner here. And Frontier, Sasha, and one of the other runners. Second and third for the girls. And they will go around the 50 meter mark. We'll go down to Luke Howard and Evan. First the uh, girls pioneer will, runner will finish up her second lap. 335 it looks like. Evan Galley and, or Evan and Luke Howard. First and second for the boys. They're on their final lap. So we'll follow them. They're trailed by the Pioneer Runner. Looks like they take a margin of a, of a, of a lead. Luke Howard. Nevin round. Kind of come down to the last 100 meter there. And we'll go back to Leah Gump. On to her final lap. Gump with a huge lead in the girls 100 meter. Or for girls mile, excuse me. She'll go, she'll have a kick for her last lap. So where do you have cameras now? One, two. It's like the fourth runner for the boys. Looks like Evan and Luke Come up to the one, uh, final 100 dash. Sasha and the other runner for Frontier. Still in second and third for the girls. Looks like it's Callie there. And Luke will take first place for the mile, followed by Evan, so they go 1-2. And then Pioneer will take third. Good job by Ryan there for Pioneer. And then we'll go down to Leah Gump. Pioneer runner on her final lap now. And Leah Gump. Leah Gump there. We'll finish up here for the girls, 100, uh, girls mile. She'll take first place. Almost by 200 meters. Very impressive. Good job by Leah Gump. She wins the mile. Front tier dominating right now. Mile. We'll go down to. Here comes a pioneer runner. 
Well, uh, that'll finish up the boys' mile. After this event, it looks like it will be the four by one. Girls and boys. Boys followed by girls. And Frontier will take, it looks like, second and third. It looks like Sasha will take second for the girls' mile. And Frontier sweeps the mile. They take first, second, and third. Ali and Sasha there. There we go. One more Pioneer runner will finish up here on the mile. Then we'll go to the 4x1. Nice strong finish there. Jack Storm will be starting it off for the boys 4x1. And um, they'll be also running the girls 4x1 as well. Looks like it is no, uh, Hannah Davis and Jack Storm for the Frontier. And we'll get the finish as well. Storm will take off, and Mo man, he just takes off. And Hana Davis will, Jack Storm will hand it off to Dredge. And Hannah there. I will try to get the last one. Frontier is still in the lead by the 4x1, and the girls team will win it either way. Frontier with a margin of a lead now. Oh man, big lead. And the final four by one here. Frontier will take it. And the four by one. Nice job. Frontier wins the four by one. They get that gets them five points. And the girls will win their four by one as well. <laughs> Shuts out a big side there, but Frontier wins boys and girls four by one. So we'll go to the next event, which will be the next event. You're watching Frontier Max to television. We'll be right back. We're here in the 400 meter dash. Looks like it will be Garrett Dredge in lane number four. And um, not quite too sure who is in lane number two. So the runner they were, they exchanged for Pioneer. So Frontier will have two runners here. It looks like Garrett Dredge and one other Frontier runner. And then it'll be the girls 400 meter. They're on their mark. And they're off. Garrett Dredge. In lane number four. He's in the lead for the Red Ox. Doing a good job there. Looks like Pioneer will take the lead. Gonna put it on the final stretch here. Pioneer in the lead, followed by Frontier in lane number two. We'll go down to the final one, last 100 meter stretch. Pioneer in the lead. Frontier could take third though. Looks like Pioneer will take first, Frontier will take second and third. Good job by Garrett Dredge and Gus there. And followed by three Pioneer Runners. So we will go to the girls for 100 meter dash. It looks like it'll be in lane number two, Josie Fosnott, in lane number four for Frontier, uh, Claire, and in lane number one, or lane number six, Allie. So we'll start on Claire here. Looks like Josie's going to be in the blocks in lane number two. And they're off. And we will go, it's like Frontier will be in the lead. Again, with the 400 meter dash, you have to stay in your lane. 
Good job by them. And I can't quite tell. Go over to... There will be a second heat as well, it looks like. And we'll go down to the final stretch where it looks like the girls, looks like Pioneer will be out in front, so they'll, unless Josie Fosnock can catch up, will take second in that. Pioneer will take first. I'm not too quite sure who will take third, but Pioneer takes first. Josie Fosnott will take second in the 400, and those will come down to the final stretch. Frontier will take third. That was Allie there. And yeah, in fifth place was Claire. So we'll go to the second heat of the girls 400 meter. So it'll be Josie and Sadie and Perla here in the 400. Second heat. They're going to both be in the blocks here. And they're off. And we have one Pioneer runner. Looks like Frontier is in first and second. Sadie is in second. Perla is in first. And Good 400 meter. Great track meet so far. The next event, I believe, will be the 400 meter hurdles. Or something else, but Frontier in the lead right now. First and second still. Sadie in Here we go. And some battle across the finish line. Good job. We go one, two there in the second heat of the 400 and Pioneer will take the third position. And we'll go to the boys 400 hurdles. Alex Schreiber will be in lane number five. Noah will be in lane number four. Lane number three will be a Pioneer runner. And in lane number two will be Adrian. So they will start here shortly. Hurdles are one of the hardest events. And there we go. So that was a good start there. like it will be Adrian he's in first place followed by Noah and Alex looks like he just took third so you can kind of get him there here comes Adrian in first place he definitely has a big lead over the rest of the runners followed by Noah and Alex here on senior night I know Alex Schreiber is one of these seniors not sure about Adrian no, we'll, Adrian will take first place for the Red Ox. No, uh, looks like he'll take second unless Alex can steal third here. No, will take second. Alex will take third. One, two, three for the Red Ox. They sweep the 400 hurdles. They will be in Frontier will be in lane two, four, two and four, and then Pioneer will be in three and five. The odd numbers. They're on their marks. They're set. And there's the gun. Frontier in the lead. Pioneer looks to be in second place.
Looks like they'll jump there. Frontier still in first place. Followed by Pioneer Runner. So, Frontier's still in first place. Looks like Maddie will be in first. For Frontier, she, and the Pioneer Runner is catching up to her, so it is close. It will come down to the wire who takes first place here. Maddie versus the Pioneer Runner. We'll see who is going to take it here in the final stretch. This one's close. It's going to be really close. And Frontier will take it. Good job by Maddie there. And we'll see who can take third. Looks like Frontier. She's got to finish strong. Pioneer could take third. It's very close. And I'm not too sure who took third. So... We will go to the second heat of the 400 hurdles. It'll be all frontier runners, three in lane five, four, and three. And they're off. Here in the second heat, uh, still, you know, Frontier 1, 2, 3, so can't quite lose this one. Kind of trying to just PR, and it's good to see some of the younger players out there, especially trying. For, the hurdles can be a very challenging uh, event, especially the start. I tried it my senior year and struggled to get over the first hurdle, so leave it at that. So here we go. They're going to come down to the final straightaway. Frontier's coached by Bob Smith and Walter Flynn. Mr. Flynn and Mr. Smith coach both cross country and track, so they've been coaching for many years. And yeah, here we go. Final stretch here. We're going to finish hard and strong. Woo! What a finish there. By lane number four running. And there we go. We'll go to the boys 800 meter dash. Frontier has five runners and Pioneer has one. And they're off. Looks like Amory will be in third and they're gonna round that first corner. So there we go. And they're on the first straightaway of the 800. 800 is definitely one of the toughest events as well. They're going to do the girls 800 start here. A lot of runners. Oh man. Frontier in like first and sixth as well. I don't know. Maybe they got like eight runners here. <laughs> so there we go. 800 meter. Frontier in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. The next event will be here. The boys will. Um, the next event will be the 200 meter. Frontier in first, second, third, fourth, and sixth. Uh, let's see if I can kind of get them. Looks like Amory is in second for the Red Ox. He's one of the seniors. And good job by AJ. He's right behind the, the um, Pioneer Runner. All of them here. We'll go down back to the girls, which this could go to anyone almost. I mean, a whole flock of them. 
think they have nine runners in this event. Could be wrong. Looks like Nicole Plaza is in first, though. Let me go to the second lap, final lap. And, yeah, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And sixth. Seventh, eighth, ninth. There we go. And a nice finish there by Evan. Looks like Amory M will take second. And can't quite tell. Frontier takes one, two, three. And we'll go down to Frontier and Pioneer Runner and battling for fourth here. And AJ is back there. Not too far behind. Looks like Nicole Plaza is rounding her final. 100 meter. Followed by a couple Frontier Runners right on her tail. Looks like Nicole will... Will she take first? She... Well, very close. First, second, third. Fourth. Sprinted. Dominating the 800. And a couple more runners coming in. Good job by then. The 800 is definitely one of the toughest events, I will say. Myself, if I do say so myself, as I ran that one in high school. Um, very challenging to pace yourself for two laps and also be speedy about it. So there we go. And looks like Pioneer will finish up here. And we're off for the boys 200 meter. It's like Frontier in first. It's like Frontier's first, second, and third. First, at least first and third. Looks like Aiden Dredge will take first. Frontier will take third. Pioneer will take fourth. And there we go. We'll go do the second heat of the boys 200 meter dash. And they're off. Looks like Frontier will be... Frontier in first and second. Followed by Pioneer in third. And fourth. Pioneer in fifth. Got by Frontier. It's a good 200 meter. Frontier in first and third now. And there we go. We will have one more heat of the boys' 200-meter dash. And they're off. It's like Frontier. It's all Frontier runners in this one. So it's like we have four runners here. Taylor is taking up uh, lane number four. And yeah, there we go, the third heat there. Just finished up. And we'll go to the girls 200 meter dash. And here we go. Girls 200 meter dash, first heat underway. Looks like Pioneer is in the lead right now. We'll come down to the final 100. Looks like Pioneer's in first and second. Pioneer, uh, Frontier in third. Now Frontier in first. Or second. It's gonna come be close, photo finish. Pioneer will take first. Frontier will take second. 
And I'm not too quite too sure who got third. And we'll go to the girls second heat of the 200 meter dash. And they're off. Looks like Frontier's in the lead. And um, here in the second seat, uh, second heat. And number five's gonna, looks like she's gonna win it. Lane number two will take second place, followed by lane number four. And Pioneer will take fourth there. We will go to the third heat. All right, here we go. They're about to start the 200. Third heat. Here they go. Frontier in one, two, three, and four. Here in the third heat. Looks like Jillian Warden's in the fifth lane. Or fourth lane, excuse me. There we go. One, two, three, four. And we'll go to the boys two mile. Here we go. So it looks like we'll have three runners. Looks like Frontier, the strong start. They're in first and second, followed by Pioneer. And they are gonna start the girls two mile Pretty soon. And here we go. The two miles off. It's like Leah Gump, Sophie, and Green there in the two mile. Frontier here, finishing up there his first lap. The two mile. There we go. And Frontier in second for the boys. Two mile, finishing up his second lap. And followed by the boys pioneer runner. And then we'll focus in on the girls runners. Looks like it'll be a close group of runners. All, everyone's kind of within maybe like uh, 10 meters of each other. Leah Gump in the lead. Trailed by one of the runners. Um, and then Pioneer in third, Pioneer in fourth, and Frontier in fifth. And we'll go back to third lap. He'll, or he's going to come up on his third lap as the boys' first place runner. Um. Again, there's eight laps, so you have to, in order to run a mile on a track, you have to run four laps, so eight laps total to run a two mile. And uh, there goes the first runner for the boys. And we will go to the second runner. go to his third lap followed by 
It's like the girls. The group of girls. We take the boys runner. But yeah. So Sylvie in, is in first for the two mile. And, yeah. and followed by Leah, and then uh, leave in third. There goes the boys uh, runner. <laughs> the girls pioneer runner in fourth. And we'll go to second place for the boys. Um, Job by the boys there. You will take. So he'll go into his fifth lap, I believe. And here comes the girls. Looks like Sylvie's in first, followed by Leah Gump. And then leave in third place for the girls. Sylvie has about a five meter lane, uh, five meter lead on Leah. And then in third place, it's leave there. In third place, 5.06. And Frontier Boys. Onto his fifth lap, I believe. And the Pioneer Runner there. Um, in just uh, going on to his fourth lap. And we'll go all the way down to the Girls Runner for Pioneer. And second place for the boys. You're still in first and second for the two mile. Only three runners total. Boys, girls, have five runners total, two pioneer runners and three girls. Sylvie and Leo looking to lap one of the girls. Sylvie will go into, his, go into her fifth lap, or, or sixth, excuse me, and Leah as well. So that will be a cl very close finish between Leah and Sylvie in the girls two mile. We'll go back down to boys finishing up. It's going on to his seventh lap. And leave will follow him. She goes on to her Six lap, I believe. She's in third for the girls, two mile. And we'll go to Pioneer Runner. Finishing up her lap there. Go down to the boys runner for Pioneer. He will take in third no matter what. There's only three runners, so. like Frontiers there. He's going to finish up his seventh lap. Or sixth lap. I could be, he could be on his seventh now.
Still be adding on to her lead a little bit. Getting a little bit more ahead of Leah now. It'll be Caleb there. We'll have one more lap. Which is, this is his final lap for the boys, two mile. Got on to girl, the girls' third place. Leave. Again, the two miles is definitely one of the toughest events to run on the track. Um, I mean, eight laps around a track is definitely tough. Uh, and there goes Leave. So we'll go down to. It's like a pioneer runner. And behind that is boys second place, followed by the girls. He will lap in there. Sylvie Stone first. Now looks like Lee is kind of catching up to her. Maybe still a bit, a bit of a lead. 948 29. There goes Sylvie. She's the leader there. And then trailed by Leah. Not too far behind her. Then we'll go back to the finish. And now it is the final lap. <laughs> so I definitely lost track there. It's Ian there. His final lap of the two mile. Just fall on there. And we'll go down to third place for the girls. Leave there. Finish up lap, lap number six. I definitely lost track of the laps there. But I know when it's the final lap because they ring a bell. So I got that going for me. And now, Frontier's second place. Looks like the girls, he'll be finished up. They'll all be going on their final lap here. Sylvie still in first place, holding it. We'll see what she can do in the last 400. And definitely added on to her lead a little bit. Leah's still not too far. Leah's gone not too far behind her. And then there's a pioneer runner there. So, and I, Frontier finished up there. So he won it there. Without me even knowing, so. Go down. Next runner will be Leave. She'll be going on to her final lap pretty soon. And then uh, Sylvie racing, chasing down. Uh, the final 100 meter dash here. Lee will finish up her seventh lap and go into her final lap. And Sylvie finishing strong. Same with the Frontiers boys second place. There we go. Job. She takes first place. And followed by Lee Gump there. And 
And looks like he'll be finishing, uh, she'll be finishing up her two mile, I believe. I hope they'll be going on to their, their last laps. And leave will go down to third place for the girls. We leave for Frontier. Looks like leave will take third place. Frontier takes first, second, and third. Um, four. <laughs> Good sportsmanship there by Lee Gump and Leave. Teammates there for the two mile. And Piner finishing up strong. Girls and boys there. And that should, I believe, almost done with the two mile. And we we'll go to the final runner of the two mile for Pioneer. Here comes the final runner for the two mile and the uh, the for the girls, and yeah, again we will go to the uh, four by four boys and girls. It'll be fun. It's a good final event to end the meet on. Sometimes it does come down to the uh, that event. I remember my eighth grade year came down to Frontier versus uh, Mohawk. In the 4x4, four four, it was a very close meet, and Mohawk ended up winning at Mohawk. So I'm pretty sure we finished up that season 5-2. and two. And there we go. Here it takes off. And him and Nicole are both in the lead for both teams. Cool. Lead for both and followed by Dredge. Nicole and Dredge doing a good job. And the next runners up will be um, Amory for Frontier. All right, so it looks like it's Amory and Maddie. I got names from. From the fans. So Maddie. So Garrett Judge will hand it off. The 4x4 is close for the boys. Amory will take off. And Maddie for the girls with a strong lead. Um, and we'll just catch Pioneer here. Nope. Amory with a big lead. He's doing a good job on the second leg. Four 
for Frontier. Looks like it's Addison and Gus. Again, got them for the fans, so thank you to them. Here to the third leg. Hey, there we go. Frontier doing the wave on that final start. Amory will pass it off. To Evan, I believe. Strong start. Pioneer. And Maddie will pass it off to Addison. That is a good start there. In the third leg for Addison. And here comes Pioneer. And for the final two runners of the 4x4, four four, it will be Adrian and Josie Fosnott. Um, in the final leg, looks like Frontier, I believe it's Evan, coming up on the finish. Probably about a 80 meter lead if I had to guess. Adrian will take the Frontier Chanton. Adrian will take off. He's got a strong lead it's going into the final leg. And Pioneer there. Addy to Josie Fosnott for the final leg. The 4x4. Four four. Both Frontier teams in the lead, boys and girls. Paul's not taking that turn well. And we will go back over to Pioneer Girls and then Adrian. Adrian on the final stretch of the 4x4. Four four, cheered on by his teammates, still with a demanding lead. So Frontier Boys will win the 4x4 four four and get five points there. And Pioneer will finish up strong. Here goes Josie to finish up the 4x4. Four four. Josie Fosnott will finish up and win the girls 4x4 four four for the Red Ox. Good job by Frontier. We'll go to Pioneer. To finish up the meet. Here we go. I believe Frontier boys and girls both won here on Senior Night. And yeah, it was an excellent meet all around. We're going to do a boys fun 4x1. It'll be Alex Schreiber. Just a fun second leg of the 4x1. The big man 4x1. <laughs> the throwers. Little Schreiber, this is this is always a fun way to end the meet. Here we go. The throwers are off. <laughs> Schreiber will take the lead here. They're gonna hand it off. Here we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a close one though. Frontier cheering him on, running next to him. Oh man. Uh, and here goes the, the third leg. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Julian will finish strong for the throwers <laughs> with the sunglasses on and everything. Oh, he's getting chased down, though. It's going to come down to the wire to end the meet. Julian's gonna win it. Hey. So, good sportsmanship there. <laughs> there we go. So, that'll do it. As we'll pan into the boys and girls track teams. I believe Frontier won both boys and girls senior night. It was an excellent uh, meet all around by both teams. And uh, we were very glad to cover it here. Um, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Alp Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street. 
in Greenfield, Massachusetts, as well as uh, Gilmore Farrow Insurance, um, Sugarloaf Clips, and Holiday Pizza, official pizza of FCAT Sports. We will see you next time. For the final time, Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, Ben Roberts, Emily Roberts, um, Max Wormgore, Isaac Wormgore, and Connor Mabius, as well as Marie Thomas and Morgan H. Holmes. So we want to thank you guys, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you, and goodbye.